In this video we share Father Michel Rodriguez on consecrating your home as a refuge. First and foremost, this is a prayer from your heart. You ask the Father through the heart of Jesus because he has shed his blood for us on the cross. Through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, under the shadow of the Holy Spirit, you consecrate your home to the will of the Father for what he wishes to do with it. He will be the owner of your home now. You do the same thing outside with your land. Say the same prayer for your land for the Lord to do with it as he wishes. The Lord has perfect knowledge of the geography of your property. Don't worry. When you consecrate your land, it belongs to him and will be under the protection of an angel. When the time comes for people to go into a refuge, no one will be able to enter it without the sign of the cross on their forehead, recognized by you and by the angel, at the front of your property. When you have consecrated your land, your home, the refuge is protected by the holy angel of the Lord, not only the delineated space that you have consecrated, but all of your inhabitants in that area as well. This means that if someone comes to your home with the spirit of the devil, the devil will stay out. The person can enter, but the spirit will wait for her to return. It will not pass through. You cannot consecrate someone else's home because it has to be an act of their free will before the Father. The consecration must follow the heart. Everyone has the capacity to open their heart to the Father. He will respect their will. This is what we call the internal disposition of the heart to fulfill the will of the Lord. Can you consecrate your home and land if your spouse isn't a practicing Catholic? Yes, because you are the owner of the land and the home. And when the day comes, you will be happy that it is done. When you are a renter, it means you can consecrate the space that belongs to you, but you cannot consecrate the land. You just consecrate the apartment where you are, and you will be protected. You can consecrate a place where you don't live, if you are the owner of the space, because this will be for the people of the Lord for the time when the Lord will shake this world. Can a lay order be consecrated as a safe place? Yes, absolutely. But the order has to be willing to do this. Is the consecration a single event or will there be a need to repeat? It is a single thing. When the Father touches something, I assure you, it is touched forever, unless a place is profaned. If there is a mortal sin on that land or in the home or refuge, it would it have to be re-consecrated. When a consecrated church is profaned by activities of mortal sin there, the bishop has to re-consecrate the church. Learn more from Father Rodriguez's virtual retreat at Countdown to the Kingdom's site. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.